we want to make sure we have a top and a bottom to this onion. Where it's hairy, that's the core. So we want to cut off the core. We want to take the tip off too. Switch our knives again, and we're just going to do one little cut so that we can peel the outer layer off. Now if it's leather, papery and leathery like this one, we're just going to cut that off. That way we don't lose all that onion there. So what finger do we use for cutting? Middle finger. Now what we're going to do now is, here's our core, we're going to cut in half. If you're not sure too, you're cutting with the lines of the, the onion. We're going to cut three quarters the way through, but for so our right hand it's on our left side, and we're only going to cut to about here, but we're going to cut with so those. So we're going to cut three quarters the way through. That way, the reason we do three quarters is so that it holds together, doesn't fall all apart. Then we're going to do the same distance, and then this way we get all roughly the same um, size. If we have real big ones, then just go back and give them a little cut. So now we're at that three quarters spot. So what I'm going to do now is just cut and have it fall like a book. Oops, if that happens, just cut them individually. Then we cut down and then we turn them all in one go. This is why a sharp knife is always good. So this is a diced, a diced onion, okay? 